Hello everybody, welcome back to Jijus Rock Vlog. I know it's been a while, I've missed you all dearly, and I know I look a little bit different, just bear with it, it'll grow back, don't worry about it. But anyways, I just wanted to say to you, Happy New Year's! I really hope you achieve all the things that you set your mind to this year. I know 2020 kind of sucked, but let's look forward to 2021. All right, I know I have a New Year's resolution. I want to improve the quality of my videos and actually freaking upload daily so I can become rock climbing extraordinaire YouTube superstar. Um, and maybe you have a New Year's resolution to become a rock climber. If that is the case, allow me to congratulate you. I congratulate you on partaking this awesome journey of enjoying the great outdoors of getting injuries with amazing stories and meeting an amazing variation of individuals who all come together to enjoy this awesome sport but you don't know what year to buy in order to get started in becoming a sexy chiseled areola squared abs climber well if that is the case then you, my good individual, are in the right place. No, it's very important that you take everything that I say with a grain of salt. I'm some random sleep deprived climber on the internet. You should always fact check everything and do your own research so you have an educated guess. Or even better yet, actually find a professional that will train you on these skills. In this video, I've laid out the absolute bear of items that you will need in order to get started in climbing. In terms of variation of items, how to use them, and the specifics are all going to be laid out for future videos. Or you can just check other videos on the internet and, or just read about them. So without further ado, let's get started. I know it's a bit of a different angle, and of course, uh, maybe the coloration looks a bit different. I'm just kind of playing around with some things. But anyways, uh, let's not stop the video and let's get started. So the first thing that you will need as a rock climber would be some shoes. Now shoes are very important. This is your contact with the wall, alright? This is literally what can change the game all the way from making a huge sand to maybe failing it. So it's very important that you play around with shoes. Now I suggest you don't buy them online, that you go out of your way to go to an REI or maybe a outdoor shop and actually try them out. These bad boys, they need to fit like a glove on your foot, alright? And trust me, they will fit like a glove on your foot. They're horribly painful. The next item you will need is a harness. Now, the harness, you're going to obviously use it to um, put the rope around it. And this will keep you from not falling to your impending doom when inevitably you actually fail that ascend on your route. So um, there is a huge variation. There's black diamond, there's petzl, and so on. But a pretty good harness is all you need. You don't need something too fancy. Black diamonds make pretty cheap harnesses that they're also very good. So the next thing you're gonna need is a chalk bag. So chalk bags, obviously, do what the name suggests. You put chalk in and I'll get to that in a minute. Um, but basically, you're gonna want one. This is so you can dip your hands in it, and once you dip your hands in it, you get your hands covered in magnesium. We call it chalk, but it's actually magnesium, or magnesium powder, and this will uh, give you better friction with the wall and wick away all that moisture and oils that we generate in our fingertips. The next thing you're going to want is chalk. Now chalk comes in two different ways. There's this powder form, right? And there's also liquid form. This I want to throw outside a window because I hate it with a passion. But a lot of people like to soak their hands with liquid chalk. 
This will dry out and leave a thin layer of chalk on your hands and then dip their hands into regular chalk. So you can do that. Um, it's also not something that you want on walls, in my opinion, just because it tends to, um, it just tends to get sweated out very fast, at least for me. So I, I like carrying powdered chalk and just dip my hands whenever I need to. And uh, um, yeah, the next thing you will need is a quick draw, not a quick draw, but at least something between 12 and 16 quick draws. So the reason why you want that number is because most routes will require you about that number of quick draws. Not all of them, but most of them. And um, there is a lot of quick draws out there. Um, all the way from Petzl to Black Diamond to this one's a Cypher and again this is something that you um, don't necessarily have to go out of your way to see it physically in a store but if you have the opportunity to see any of these items in a store and try them out yourself then that would be awesome. So again you need about 12 to 16 of these and that should be more than enough. So the next item you're gonna need is a belay carabiner. This goes on your harness, which I showed you earlier, and this clips onto a belay device. Now, the belay device is used to stop the climber from falling down. So climbing is a two-man sport, you're gonna need somebody that belays, that's the person that's gonna be on the bottom holding your rope. This is the mechanism they use to stop the rope, right? They're not gonna stop the rope with their hands. So there's a lot of different ATC devices, um, sorry, belay devices. Um, this is the ATC, this is the Gree Gree by Petzl, this one is by Black Diamond. All right, I suggest you search a lot of information on these because they vary a lot. The next item on the list is just carabiners. You want at least three or four of these. You can do a lot of magic with these. They will become handy for a lot of things, especially when it comes time to do system changes. So once you reach at the top of the route, you gotta come back down, uh, utilizing the anchor on top, but in order for you to do that, you need at least two of these because they don't always have permanent carabiners on top, right? So now that we're in the topic of free carabiners, um, you also want to accompany those with a sling. I, I have two, as you can see. I will just have these on my harness clip it on one anchor, clip it on the other anchor, do the system change, come down, clean the route, go home. The other item that you will need is, of course, a rope. Now, rope is arguably one of the most important tools of a rock climber. This is your lifeline, all right? Now, I highly suggest you get a 70 meter rope. I like long ropes. That should be more than enough to do most of the routes out there. Um, and of course, it needs to be a dynamic rope. So the difference between a dynamic rope and a static rope is that when you fall on this one, it will have like a bungee effect that will slow down your fall instead of stopping you short, like dead stop, which is, which can hurt your spine and hurt you in many ways. Um, this does not mean that a rock climber can't use static rope, is that you're not gonna use it to sport climb. You're gonna use static ropes for other things. So again, Mammoth, Black Diamond, those are some of the most recognized brands when it comes to rope. Um, this one is a Black Diamond 70 meter 
it's been an awesome robe. I have zero complaints about it. I actually want to get a second one, but in blue. And the absolute most important item that a climber needs a helmet get a helmet and use it okay very important that you use a helmet I don't think I have to explain why right you play stupid games you win stupid prizes all right those are the absolute most essential bare items that you need in order to get started the price range ranges on these very drastically depending on the product that you're buying the brand that you're buying where you're buying it etc but at least on my case um for about a grand i got everything that i needed and i know that sounds like a lot but it's a grand that will last you your whole life if you take care of it you know, um, or for at least a long amount of years. And that's it. That's all, honestly all you need for rock climbing. Um, if you think about anything else, please write it in the comments. Also like, subscribe, share. Even if you're not gonna probably see these videos, every little bit of support actually helps. Um, I'm might or might not depending on how lazy I feel put some links down in the description with useful information about all the items that I've just discussed here um, again thank you for taking a little bit of your time in the short amount of time that you have on this planet in order to watch this video I hope it is informational to you and of some use and yeah that's it just remember put your helmet on and climb on